Hi, welcome to Game Creation. So uh, it's definitely time to get started on our Tetris project. Um, and we're going to do a bit of recon today to try and understand how we go about recreating a classic. Um, I've picked the Game Boy version because I have played that one to death and I feel like I know it the best, but we shall see. Um, three tools we need to be able to do this. Um, and this should be beside your computer at all times notepad or a post-it notes and a pen. Um, I'm forever writing, jotting that stuff down. The reason I do it on post-its is some of the stuff is super important and I need it um, quite a lot. Um, and some of the stuff I write, I work something out, put it into the computer and then chuck it away. Um, I do sometimes use um, sheets of paper, um, but these are much easier to organize um, and keep the bits that you need and to remove the bits that you don't need. So these are a good idea. And the third piece, so pen, post-it and a decent calculator. Uh, I've got loads and loads of different um, calculators, but this is a modern, I don't know, exciting one that does all sorts of weird and wonderful things. Um, but definitely have a, a calculator with you. So um, what I'm going to do is go through kind of what the layout of the Game Boy version is. We're going to talk dimensions. And the reason we've got to do this first is we've got to work out how many um, tiles there are that fit on the screen and all that stuff before we get started. Because before we get going on an array, we kind of need to know what the size of the array is going to be. So this is actually a really good place to start. And it's kind of a little bit exciting to actually be able to import some of this into our game um, and make it look the part from day one, we shall see. Let's get started. So, um, what I've managed to find on Tinternet is a graphic of the um, screen and the actual shapes and the tiles for the um, letters and stuff, so like all the graphics, um, which is quite shocking. This is all Tetris is, but I suppose that's correct. Um, I'm just going to check this screen because I think I think this is the screen here. It should be 160 by 144. So 160 by 144 is the dimensions of the um, original Game Boy. Um, so that is correct. So that screen is perfect. Um, so I'm just going to jot all this down. Why not? So I get my pad out and I've... Here we are. So it's 160 by 144. So 160 by 144. Okay, and these are the tiles here. So each one of these um, is 8, I think. Let's have a look. Each one of these should be 8 pixels. So each square is 8 pixels. Okay, and this is the kind of um, area here that you actually play the game in. So this is where the the, um, the Tetris pieces, Tetromino's, will fall down, and that is eighty by one four four. That's eighty by one four four. Now, doing a bit of maths. <laughs> We, this is why we need the calculator. I think I could probably do it in my head, but let's see. Um, so if it's 80 wide and each piece is 8 pixels wide, that means that there are 10 pieces across. Um, if the height is 144 and there's the the pixels are 8, um, to divide by 8, you halve it, halve it again, then halve it again, uh, which obviously is going to be 18. So you can uh, have 180, because 18 times 10, you can have 180 pieces on this screen. So by pieces, I mean these squares. So this is one, two, three, four squares. So you can fit 10 of them across and then 18 of them down. Now, a good way of checking this is to get some actual gameplay footage, which I have right here. And if I go quite late on, it's quite a good player. So let's check the 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. 
And let's try and guesstimate. If I if I move it back a bit, I wonder if I can get like that. Ah, oh, that would have been quite good. Yeah, let's try that one. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So yeah, so it's eighteen by ten. Useful piece of information. <laughs> Okay, so when we get started on our project, uh, we've got to think about what the dimensions of the project's going to be. So I've created a new one called Tetris, and the file name I've just put as version 0 0.1. And I've got to think about how big the frame's going to be. Um, so at the moment, it's 640 by 480. Um, I could try it as 160. Let's try it. So uh, 160 by 144, yeah, that's fine, let's just run that, wow that's small, <laughs> so what we might want to do is just uh, times everything by 10, I wonder if that will work, I think that might be a bit big, I don't know, yeah, that's way too big, doesn't actually fit on my screen. Ah, oh, such a shame. I don't know why it does that. Um, okay, so then we could then halve it. So we could times everything by five. Uh, so 160 times five, that's 800, obviously. And then, um, what is it, 160, 144 times five, 720. Anyway, that's better. So if I times everything by five, um, that should work nicely. So let's import that, that screen across, just to give us a kind of frame of reference. So I'm just going to copy it, and I'm going to create. Um, I could do it as a backdrop. Um, Control A, delete, and then Control V, yes. Uh, now the really annoying thing is it takes black as, as a background color. You can actually change it in the settings, but I find it just easier just to make the whole the whole background black. Basically, it takes black as transparent when you're importing graphics. So if you make the whole background black and then paste it in, that just sorts it out. Uh, now we need to make this five times bigger, and so we want it to stretch. We want it to be proportional because we want this to be 800. Now we've got to think: Do we want to resample? Uh, let's try without. That looks right. Let's just check. Yeah, zero zero. And let's just check when we run. Oh, that looks nice. That looks good. Okay, <laughs> so we're already kind of um, somewhat there. <laughs> We've got the the stuff ready. That's ready to be filled in with levels, lines. We're not going to do that this week, definitely. Probably not next week. That will probably be week three, um, but we shall see. Um, so we've got like a frame of reference to go by, um, and we know the dimensions of the pixels. We know that there's 10 columns and 18 rows um, and I think that we're going to stop there for now for this video but in tomorrow's video I, I, I'll i create an array for um, holding the um, the um, tire, the I don't know, pieces, I keep forgetting what they're called, tetromonos, um, holding the ones that are actually static and um, we might also create an array for a different array for the one that the player is currently controlling because I want to treat those very different. I want those um, to be treated in two completely different arrays. Um, and the arrays will share a lot of characteristics, um, but um, I've just thought that maybe it might be easier to have them as two different arrays. I might change my mind tomorrow. We shall see. Uh, if you've got any suggestions or any comments or any... Uh, Thing you want me to discuss or any features of Tetris that you think I might miss 
um, please write them in the comments and I shall see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more from us, please click subscribe. We release videos every single weekday at 7pm UK time. Thank you.